Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, November 1, 2017. What you see before you is a very rare U-22. It's known as the albino. We kept the hull wet. John and RJ participating and contributing yeoman's service into the evening, keeping the, uh, the wood wet. But as you can see, the result is a wonderfully uniform field of mahogany that will stain equally uniformly, which is of course our goal. The bungs are bleached, the dash is bleached, um, the Dutchman repair that John executed in the dash has bleached and, and now comes very, very close to matching the uh, hues on the the rest of the dashboard, once we stain it, uh, it will disappear. Nobody will see that repair. Uh, somebody, uh, probably the same person who destroyed the rest of the boat, decided to put a, a modern, and that's in quotes, uh, build switch into the boat, which was a good idea, because this is a long boat and the aft uh, bilge pump is often uh, run on a manual circuit rather than on an automatic setting. The problem is he hogged a huge hole. It wasn't even rectangular, it was just a huge hole uh, in the dash, which uh, John has deftly repaired. You can see the foredeck the tow rails, the newly repaired helm seat backs, the aft deck covering boards, and of course, in some ways most important, the top sides are now all pretty uniformly white. We'll put a moisture meter on the wood this morning. Uh, I, I know it's not dry enough to stain yet. We will, we will give it at least 24 hours to make sure that it is down in the neighborhood of 15%, 12 would be nicer. Once we achieve that reading, we will go over the entire boat by hand and very lightly with 120 grit because one of the things that the, uh, that the bleach does is to raise the grain a bit, which actually is good for purposes of of staining, but there, as I rub my hand across the surface, it feels like the boat uh, has a, a five day shadow and needs to shave. Bleaching came out just beautifully. It's so nice to have passed this milestone successfully. And if you notice, we have no vertical streaks in the top side. That's always a huge problem. Those repairs to the stem, of course, are behind the cut water. So, I don't know if this is your first albino U-22, 
but if you keep watching Snake Mountain Boatworks, it won't be your last. This is our update on the 1946 Chris Craft Brightside U22 for November 1, 2017. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.